She didn't ask me for it. I just sent it to her. Yeah, as I said, I look at the little girl like a sister. I know how it feels not to have food in your fridge and stuff, so I don't play them games. You feel me? So I sent Marissa 15 pounds. I said to go to Tesco and get a few bits and pieces and try and get something to eat because the girl was literally sitting in my face. She literally had old food. She was eating garlic bread. I said, what's that? Like, go and get something to eat real quick and call it a day. So cool now. Um, she's then turned around and explained to me that the reason why her mom's not putting no food in the fridge is because she's saying that she's not doing nothing with herself. So it's like, Marissa, the sister, and the mom lives in the house. And the only person that's not doing nothing but wants so much is Marissa. So I'm thinking, mm, when it was explained to me like that, I understand where the mom's now coming from because the sister's at uni, the mom's at work. Marissa lied and said to her, she's the care of her mom, but I don't see you do nothing from your mom apart from warring with your mom every minute. I don't understand. So cool, I've sent her the money now, I've left it. Me and her still talking. She then sent me a video of the fact that her mum was throwing her things outside and throwing her makeup outside and all this type of stuff. I said, like, Ross. So as me and Marissa sit on the phone, and I want you lot to listen to this carefully of how people are wicked in a certain type of way. As me and Marissa sit on the phone, I've turned around and I said to Marissa, um, what is it that you want to do? So I can help you in any way that I can. I've then called my brother because my brother has two food shops. And I, Marissa said she wants to come to London. I said, cool. I then called my brother and I said to my brother, is it possible if, because um, he just opened up another restaurant, can I put my bridge into work in there? I'll send over her CV just to give her a little job to, you know, get things going. So my brother said, yeah, like get her down here, call whatever the case may be. Me and Marissa had a plan. Marissa said she wanted to come down here and stay with me for a while, but she'll be back and forth at her auntie's because she doesn't want to annoy me. I'm someone that I don't like people in my presence all the time. So when she said that, I understood because I am bipolar, I'm not going to lie. And I'm someone that I like being lonely. I need my space. So I don't need you in my space every minute. So when she said that, I was like, yeah, that's, that's good for me. So at this point now, um, she said she didn't have any money. She was waiting on her universal credit. When they've eventually given Marissa a universal credit, they've given her 50, 56 pounds, something like that. So Marissa said the reason why they gave that to her is because they put her on a um, junction or whatever because she wasn't going to her appointment. So I said to Marissa, but you're sitting in your house in Northampton, you're not doing anything, so why can't you make it to your appointment on time? That don't make no sense. You're not doing nothing, you should be able to get up and go and go to your appointment. She kept missing her appointments. Thank you, Hannah, my dog. She kept missing her appointment. So it's like, when Marissa is telling me how her mum's treating her, I'm now starting to understand. Yeah, she got sanctioned. I'm now starting to understand, okay, now I get why your mum is behaving the way she's behaving because you're literally not doing nothing. So I'm like, cool. Marissa's seeing me where I'm down here. I'm working. I'm making wings. So it's like, cool, if you're going to come down here, the plan was when Marissa comes down here, which is a plan that she asks for because she asks for my help, we're going to go to the gym with each other, sort our gym memberships. We're going to do some content creating and I'm going to help her find a job and try and get her back up there. So when Marissa's come here now, let me put a pause on that. So cool now. Um, Marissa was supposed to come down. So I'm saying to her, hurry up and come down because I had bare weeks to do and I wanted to like give her some change and stuff get the ball rolling i'm someone that i move quick you feel me so i'm not this prolonged thing if we're gonna do this let me help you make money because i look at marissa and i can see the potential of the little girl so it's like bro come down let's do this let me make you some bread let me get you a job so i'm not gonna make you come down and we just sit and we just talk to bear man and we just sleep and we just eat no it's not like that i grind i work do you get it? so cool now because i needed to bring her to my brother's restaurant i needed her to get down here ASAP. She said she didn't have no money. I said, cool. What I want to do is I'm going to borrow money from my brethren so you can get your ticket. So when you come down, when you get money, she said she will pay it back. That's the 20 pounds for the ticket for her to come down. Yeah? Cool. Marissa's come down now. Marissa was here for about three days. Marissa could see that I was working. As you lot saw, I even put up a video where Marissa's all plucking out the wig that I gave to her to pluck out for the customer. I'm putting the girl on. The tip that I, that I got from my customer, I gave it to Marissa. Yeah? Me and Marissa's in here. 
You don't have the money. I said to Marissa, right, cool. When you find your little job, I'm not going to... I'm not going to, like, run you down to put anything half and half. And when you start getting a little change, if you're still here, put down a little £10 towards the gas and electric. And you feel me, like, simple as that. I take care of my bills. Been taking care of them, so it's no problem. She said, all right, cool, no problem. Even my brother Kimberly, that's, like, one of my older sisters, she could tell you she was here throughout the whole conversation. So, cool, I just said to her, when you get, like, a little job or whatever, just put down a little £10, £20 towards the gas and the electric, and you go half, like, we go half in little toiletries and stuff. As I said, I sit in here, I fend for myself, you feel me? So, cool, no problem. She said, yes, yeah, sis, that's fine. So, we're in the house now. Obviously, at the moment, I'm back and forth because I've moved. So, I come down here because I work in my hair room, so I'm not always here. So, the house is tiptoe upside down because I'm packing everything, I'm doing this and I'm doing that, Yeah? So cool now, I've cleaned out the house, but it's like I'm cleaning out the house and there's been, there's mess on the floor or your panties is over there or your leggings is in my clothes. Why is your clothes in my clothes? Like, it's just too much. I'm going in the bathroom, the, the, um, the, flo the floor's wet. I'm having to tell Marissa to wash out the bath. You're using dishes and piling it up on top of dishes. Like, it was just too much going on and it's two of us in here. I'm getting up, I'm making wigs, I'm cleaning, I'm doing this, I'm cooking, all this type of stuff. And then when you ask Marissa to do something, your face is push up. Your face is push up. You have an attitude. Why do you have to behave like that? Like, you, you get what I'm saying? It don't make no sense. So cool now. A customer's come. I made Marissa pluck out the customer's I'm weak. I gave Marissa £10. The tip that the customer gave me, I gave it to Marissa, yeah? Cool. So, as you can see, this is my hair room, right? So, I have all my products on that shelf. Obviously, I need to restock again to do my client's hair and stuff. All my wig stuff. This is my little space for my hair room. Yeah? So, at that time, I just say to myself, you know what? Even though I've moved, where I've moved to is private this is council so i'm still living here and still paying the rent here as well and also paying the private um rent that i'm doing up there so let me just use my time wisely before i have to give this you get what i mean so cool no problem now one thing about me before all my customers come i clean out my hair room because my thing is is that i don't want none of my customers to get sick or whatever i'm really good on there's health and safety stuff, yeah? So I always clean up my hair room. I throw away stuff. I mop down in there. Throw away old products. I throw away expired makeup. I do makeup as well. So everything, I'm very quick on my toes. I don't play them games, yeah? Customers are, is, 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 the customers are in and out of here. So I'm very careful. So I'm in the hair room and I'm cleaning it out. All I said to Marissa was, yeah? Take down all the products off of the shelf and clean off the shelves and put the products back. So while Marissa's doing that, remember, I'm cleaning out all those drawers. I'm throwing away stuff. I'm cleaning out my makeup um, drawer. I'm doing everything. And I asked Marissa to do one thing. One thing. Marissa's face is... Okay, cool. Marissa's taking down all of my products, put it on the floor, put it on the floor, all my oil spill out, all products spill out, the products is open, products is bust up. You see, you see this sh these shelves, it's always packed. The amount of money that I spend on hair products because I do hair back to back. I do hair back to back. It's always packed. By the time Marissa done take everything over there, that's what's left. That's what's left. So, all right, cool now. I'm saying to Marissa, I'm clean up in here. Because I've spoken to Marissa about now clean up after herself. Cool, she's gone. She started washing the dishes. Marissa washed about two plates and the, the pots and the, the pots and the pans that I used to make our dinner, you've left it in the sink. Why didn't you just wash it? Why didn't you just wash it? It don't make no sense. So I'm cooking, I'm doing everything, and you don't want to... It, it don't make no sense, just get up and wash the whole thing. 
you're washing three plates and then putting it down and then leaving the rest in the sink. So after I done clean up the whole of the house, I still have to go back and you get what I mean? It's rude. Cool. So at this point now, remember, I've, I'm now sorting out the transfer and all the type of stuff for Marissa to go to the interview the next day. Yeah? Cool. It's 10 something at night. Marissa's going to turn around and say, oh, sis, um, I'm going to my auntie's house because I have to babysit, but I'll come back tomorrow with some jello fries because there's no food in your fridge. That's what Marissa said. Let me tell you how the gal beaten stay. From Gracie to C to Metap to Erica, yeah, to Cookie to Kimberly, who's one of my close friends, yeah? All of them can tell you how I stay when it comes to my food in my cupboards and in my fridge, yeah? The food that's in the fridge, to go to show you how Marissa is lazy, the food that's in my fridge is like cooking stuff. I'm not a careless girl picnic where I just have food in my fridge that I go and put in, in the microwave. I cook. So my fridge to my freezer is packed with lamb chop, shrimp, everything you can think of. There's bare cooking food in the fridge and the freezer. Ingredients. When you now go in the cupboard, it's full of bare seasoning. All the snacks is at the top. If Marissa, there's all noodles. Anyone that knows me, if you're on my Snapchat, you know that I love noodles. My cupboard is packed out with noodles. Why couldn't Marissa just go in the... Like, come on. So cool. So as is, you don't know me and my bulk buying already. You don't have seen my bathroom with my bulk buying. Thank you, babe. All this type of stuff. So because I'm over it, I'm like, Marissa, all right. No problem. You're going to do what you're doing. That was three weeks ago. Yeah? Marissa took her, her, her laptop. She took everything and just left. You said you'd come back the next day. Oh, now Marissa can't come back. I haven't even received a text from Marissa. Nothing. So, okay. You, you've gone to your aunties. All right. Send back the money so I can pay back my friend for us paying for your tickets to come to London. The agreement wasn't for you to come to London to go to your auntie's house to go and do babysit because your auntie's going to get her body done. That was never the agreement. You see with these young little girls, let me tell you what it is with these young little girls. They want to sit around. They want to be on the phone. They want to yam. They want to sleep. I never knew that someone could sleep so much the way Marissa sleeps. It's not like a little girl had a hard day of working. They don't want to do nothing. And because you're in my household, remember, I'm a big woman. Yeah? You just, you don't want to do anything. I don't live and work like that. I've been, I've been, I've been, it's, you lot keep talking about depression. I suffer with depression. And I still have to get up and work and pay my bills. I still have to get up and go to work, come home, take on clients, then make wigs after, then do the same thing again. So when you lot are talking about, oh, it could be depression, we all suffer with depression. We, we all suffer with it. And we still get up and fend for ourselves. So when I'm deep in what Marissa's mom is going through with Marissa, you're, you're a girl picnic, you're sitting at your, your own out. Marissa's like 22 years old and your mom's having to cuss you and, and tell you to clean up your room. We have to stop using the whole depression thing as an excuse because, bro, I have a bipolar disorder, I have ADHD, I'm dyslexic and I, have I suffer with severe depression and PTSD and complex trauma. And I sit here with a smile on my face in front of you lot now because of the fact that I'm 27 years old and no, no matter what my mind goes through, I want better for myself so I can get out of the state I'm in mentally. You feel me? Yes, I'm not going to lie. I've had my days where I've sat down and my house is a mess and my house looks like a pit hole. I don't eat. I don't bathe. I'll keep it real. I've had my days 
where I've gone through that. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? But I can't sit there and because I'm going through that, that doesn't mean that I'm going to get up and treat people wrong. That doesn't mean I'm going to get up and do people wrong. It doesn't mean I'm going to have evil eye against someone. No, it doesn't mean that. So we have to stop pushing this narrative with that card. Kimberly, the girl that's in this live right now, she can tell you when she's come to my house and I'm depressed and she come here, she bring a bottle of wine, we have a fag, she'll help me tidy up, we sit here, we smoke, we do hair, we laugh, we drink, we have a wonderful day. My brethren's in here. My brethren has come here and seen my house upside down and said, sis, get up. So if you have a friend that's telling you to get up and you turn around and treat them bad, then what are you? Even though I can sit in here depressed and crying my tears out, I still have to get up and go to work. I still have to get up and make the wigs for my customers. I still have to get up and maintain. I still have to do it. I have to. I have no choice. I've been in my little depression stage since before and after my birthday. My house was tic-tac-toe. I still have to get up and clean the yard. Because I can't walk and live and sit in misery, it don't make no sense. So I always advise my friends, go for your little phase, but get up. And that's it. When I was sitting there going through my... Go, listen, when I was sitting there going through hell in my head, Grace Florence, yeah? Grace Florence has come in here. When I'm going for my all and I'm getting up and I'm cooking my big plates of food for my friends, I didn't ask Grace to do it. Grace just got up and Grace just cleaned on the whole yard. I've gone, I've spent over 200 pounds and made me, Erica and Gracie seafood boil and sit there. We had a laugh. Me, I'm in food and watching movies and the place is clean and we're just nice. And when you're around Marissa Puss Ross, the house can't stay clean for a minute. Me, I'm a girl picky that I have respect. When my friends are the person they're going through what they're going through, I will go to the house and clean down their house and sit down and we pray with each other. That's the type of friend that I am. So when it comes to that 20 pound, with Marissa, she's going to give it back and she's going to have to give it back because first and foremost, I borrowed that money from someone to get you down here to help you. You're going to have to give it back. I want to get people to come to your door. Because it's the principle. It's rude. No one else didn't help you apart from me. I took money that I did not have and gave her fifty pound, £15 pound for her to go and get food. And you're sitting there telling people that I treated you as a sender. Now, hear this now. You're telling people I treated you as a sender. What? Because every time when I've, when I've asked Marissa to go to the shop... Oh, Marissa, do you want something as well? Put money on that, get something for yourself as well. Because while you're sitting in the house not doing nothing, and while you're not doing nothing, I'm doing something. So if you want to sit there with your what list stuff, of course I'm going to ask you, oh, can you get up? Can you do this? Can you do that? You're sitting there doing nothing while I'm doing something. What? How can, you, how can I be treating you as a send out when I'm the one that's getting up and cooking meatballs and spaghetti, rice and chicken, seafood boil and all this type of stuff and you're sitting there not doing nothing. I get up, I, I, I cook the food. When I cook, I like to clean at the same time. Yeah? You're washing the plates but leaving the pots in the sink. Then remember, I still have to come in here and make wigs. So how am I treating you as a senator when I'm getting when when I'm doing exactly what you're doing? What did you think he was gonna be? You was gonna come down to London and